Hey everyone, Jozik here and welcome... Did I say Jozik? No. This is Jargus. Welcome back to Star Fox. Yeah, we did levels 1 through 3, but... We never did the training mode. And look at Pepper. You don't have to fly through all the rings. I do like how they have this cone here that you can just keep shooting and shooting. Yep, you can exit any time just by hitting start. And it's gone. But first we might as well see how well we can do this. You know, fly through all the rings. It is a bit of a challenge. I'm... Though they do say you can return any time. You get no reward whatsoever for completing training mode. Of course, I never did get a time right for those gates. I just had to pause. And you can fly right in between. Yeah, you say that when you... Ah, uh, be quiet. That's one thing I don't like about this training mode, it's just that it's near impossible to stay in formation. But yeah, it just shows you the different ways you can move. Even rolling. Of course it's Peppy that has to say, STAY IN FORMATION! Watch where you're flying! And yet, the end has three new cones for you to play around with. And another three. Or you could just blow them all up. Ow. And now the rings start all over again. Look at Pepper trying to sound cool. These robots cannot be destroyed. But no, we're here to take on a real challenge. So just a moment, we're going to go to the first asteroid in level one. Okay, you know what's weird? I really thought I had a save state for it. But no, when I loaded up this game, it automatically made a new save state for the start of it, which is weird. I've never seen this do that before. Anyway, second Astro Bell, we're going about midway through the stage, doing some boost to speed up the process, because we don't need to go through this entire easy stage again, to show off something entirely new and different that we haven't seen yet. And no, not me about to get hit by an easily avoided asteroid. Slippy. Get out of here. Here's another boost. Remember, the asteroid belt is where we first heard you used to boost to get through. So why don't we follow that advice? Well, it does seem like things are progressing at about the same pace for now. No, Falco, just no. There we go. Yeah, you show those bogeys who's balls. Anyway, we're gonna get to where we have these sets of uh, little asteroids here connected by the line. And you wanna f fly right through where the gold ones are. And then you see this one after face. If you keep shooting it, it'll be a warp. Yeah, just look at these woo 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 woos. Even the music has gone all creepy on us. Now we find the black hole. The awesome black hole. 
This space grave you are created by Andor's experiment is where you are find a vanished fox. Good luck. Yeah, how is that for creepy? It's reminiscent of... How would you say... Andross's lair? That wasn't as creepy as it looks. I mean, it's just wrecked pieces of different enemies and bosses that you can just blow up. You get no score for beating this. Look at that. A new wing blaster. And this stage actually loops forever. Now, we have this special ring. And look at it, it's another warp! So this is how Andros' forces got everywhere. Take the first one and it puts us at Sucked Away. And we're going back because there's more to it than that. More wreckage. More destruction. Yeah, enemies from all over the place. And the second gate just has a bomb in it. Now we have another warp. And it takes us to... Come on. Sector Z. One is closer to Venom. One is farther from Venom. Um... What was that? Am I not allowed to go back farther? Oh, well. There's actually one more ring before it loops and takes us to the Venom airspace in level one. Now we've seen all that, let's go forward to level three. One second, everyone. Let's go, level two asteroid bound. I mean, level three, level two, stage two. You all know what I mean. You all saw what I was doing before I even started saying it. Yeah, I don't know what's up for the save states I made. The second one just put me at the start of the map for level 3. Oh well. This one is a lot less dangerous to acquire. Still a little bit tricky. I believe we have to blow up this big rock over here. There it is. Then the egg shows up. Follow the egg, shoot it, and then it becomes a bird. As for the bird, we just gotta fly directly into it. Which is sometimes a little bit tricky. Did I miss it? Yeah, don't aim for its face, like aim for the middle of its body. Now I have something just as confusing. The store has opened up to be like a big galaxy. And we are out of this dimension. Coming, Armwings, Fox, where are you? We need you to protect Corneria. That's right, Whew. this stage can really cause headaches. We're fighting paper airplanes in space, in a space distortion, whatever this is. That damn bird just sent us to the next dimension. Oh, just you wait until we get to, to the end of it. it, it is even crazier. I guarantee you that. That's nothing. I mean, because that star there looks like a star of fish. And all these planets, moons, whatever. They got freaky faces all over the place. Come 
Come on, you. I ain't afraid of no paper airplanes. Now we do have these random things for some reason. Like, you can't tell what's up or down, what's where. You can just hope you don't get hit by something. And there are zero power-ups. Zero rings, zero bombs, zero wings. And I'm not talking about all your base zero ring either. Oh boy. Yeah, this is quite disorienting. The things do seem to be straightening out somewhat, a little bit. Not a whole lot. I'm just gonna fly low and get past all these airplanes. But yet, how about I destroy them all? Just like Donkey Kong Country 2 bonus levels. This is by far the most obscure secret in the entire game. And we have not even made it to the end. Oh, yes we have. Ooh. Come on. It's floating. This is something out of a Mario game. Yes, it's a slot machine. You have to shoot it to make the wheels roll. Come on, what is this? The final boss of Okami? It can be all sorts of things. And yes, that music is when it's saying go marching in. Remade for the Super Nintendo. And you get different results. Picking up the coins actually heals you. Alright, and if you shoot the wheels when they're flashing, they'll stay on that for the next spin. And now obviously the goal is to get all lucky sevens. Now if you do get an Andros face, it'll shoot lasers and missiles at you for a bit. Well, because that casino is out of commission. That's right, we get the standard level clear. Followed by some 3D letters just flying at us. No, this game is not actually 3D compatible. And the letters do not hurt you if you get collided with them. They just pass right through. Which is good. Very good. Oh, but there's more to this, though. Once the credits are over, there is something... a secret minigame, you might say. Can I go back to first person? Yes, I can. Whoa, that was some slowdown. I gotta say, Star Fox 1 is a little rough around the edges. Like, there are parts where the difficulty spikes crazy. Like in level 2. In level 3, it gets really hard to. Like, I'm surprised I took as little damage as I did. But hey, I'm also not complaining. And if you notice, the music is, not the music, but the background is stable. Now we're still in another dimension. And then when the end pops up, it just stays here, but you can shoot the letters. The 
Your enemies will randomly fly out and try and shoot ya. Come on. This is actually one time when you don't want a, a powered up laser. Because this increased range can actually hit a lot when you don't want it to. But you want to hit them all to orient properly. Like so. Yep, and that's it. You think it's over? No. This repeats on forever and ever. So one way if you ever want to challenge yourself is just to see how many times you will get this to end before you actually uh, get killed by stray lasers and whatnot. And that's the end of Star Fox. Really nice and action pack and nice soundtrack, especially for Super Nintendo. A couple bizarre secrets and one really weird final level. And that, that's been Jorgas Gaming, thanks for watching. And I'll see you for my next gaming endeavor. Till then everybody.